Welcome back. This whack job, machete wielding New York City professor who threatened a reporter after he confronted her over a profanity laced tirade that she leveled against pro life students being shown in this video. Well, this woman has finally turned herself into police. Shalene Rodriguez was slapped with harassment and menacing charges. That's it. As video has emerged showing her holding a machete to a reporter's neck after he showed up at her Bronx apartment, she just gets menacing charges. Rodriguez then chased that reporter and its photographer out on the streets, wielding that machete in broad daylight, menacing charges. Why? Oh, because she's a far-left lunatic in New York. Rodriguez is a proud police hater who's reportedly organized a string of anti-cop protests in 2020, which led to mass arrests. According to the Post, she's been trying to sue the NYPD for abusing her during the uh, George Floyd protest, claiming she suffered nerve damage from being zip-tied while she burned and destroyed the city of New York. So you get it. The woman on your screen is a horrible person. On Tuesday, she was fired from her position at Hunter College. That's some solace here, but not nearly enough. And Dr. Michael Savage joins us now to talk more about this. Uh, this woman is everything that's wrong with this country all in one big pile. Rob, you know, I was laughing at the same time I was saying this is crazy. Of course, she's a lunatic. Yeah. But this is an example of what diversity, equity, and inclusion really means, is that people who don't bow down to these kind of left-wing lunatics have to learn to take a machete to the neck. Then we will be acceptable to them. The fact <laughs> is, this is bullying, hatred, and racism. I made some notes just for your show just now. Yep. And that's oppression. This is true oppression, is a lunatic like this who has gotten where she is by threatening people. Every step of the way. How did she become a professor? What, she writes something that I don't know about? She published some mathematical treatise somewhere that I don't know about? Something brilliant that I need to learn about? No, she did it by bullying her way up to the top and threatening people. Yeah. So now she comes upon children and trying to talk about abortion in their way, how they see it. She doesn't like it. She says it's an oppression. So she throws the table over. Then a reporter comes near. Then he try, puts the machete to the reporter's neck. So who is she? She is the definition of a fascist. Everyone uses the word. Yeah. They don't even know what it means anymore. So there she is. That's what affirmative action has wrought upon America's campuses, which yeah. is why the nation is melting down into a cesspool of stupidity. And the, and the more we pander to these people, the worse they're <laughs> going to behave. And that's exactly what's happening. I mean, with all, all of this mass white guilt capitulation to these people, uh, we're turning them e into even bigger monsters uh, than they already were. Of I, I, I got to switch gears here for a second. You've got this internal email revealing Target has lost $9 billion in just one week uh, with this bizarre LGBTQ push in their stores. You've got all this stuff in the kids' section. You've got the tucking bathing suits right there in the kids' section in sizes that Crazy. kids could even wear. Well, my, my question is, why do companies keep doing this? Their, their CEO came out and said, this makes good business sense. And then the next day, they started cutting it all down and hiding it all. And then a couple days later, you find out they learned $9 billion. You lo they lost $9 billion. Well, Bud Light taught America a lesson, but the p people don't understand that the, the decisions are made by 20-something people in advertising and promotion. Mm -hmm. It's the same in the media. We all know that, and we're never allowed to talk about it. Decisions as to which shows get the advertising are made by 20-something far-left lunatics, by and large. I shouldn't say it, but I just did. I have faced it all the 27 years I was in radio. I was on a no-buy list. Why was I on a no-buy list? I talked about borders, language, and culture. The left didn't like that. So now I'm doing podcasts. Again, they're boycotting me. Why? Because I don't go along with the program. But it's 20-something, yeah. nobodies, no-nothings, zero zips, not us, who make the decisions for the big corporations. And then you have the CEOs who are generally very malleable because they're cowards. All they want is to hold on to their job. They're not business geniuses. The CEOs didn't usually build these companies. They inherited the positions to right. run the companies. They're functionaries right. like politicians. And yeah. so they get into these positions. Well They're not the guy who did it through sweat, blood, gotta, and tears. Yeah. Well, well, well said and exactly right. Uh, and it's amazing how many lunatics can get into these massive seven-figure jobs in this country, like the CEO <laughs> of Target. I mean, if, if I was over there, I'd, that guy would be out so fast you wouldn't believe it. Dr. Savage, good to see you, sir. Thank you so much. Thanks. Love having <laughs> – I said thank you for having me on your show. I love it. I didn't say love having you on my show. I'm getting crazy about the day. Okay. <laughs> good to see you, sir. Thank, thank you. you.